For nearly 40 years, every U.S. president has officially designated February as Black History Month. It's all due to the work of Carter G. Woodson. In the early 1900s, this father of black history sought to promote the education of black excellence. President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month in 1976, calling for Americans to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout history. But before February 1st came to officially mark a 28-day celebration of African American history, it was a day to commemorate black citizens' first steps into freedom. On this day in 1865, President Abraham Lincoln signed the 13th Amendment, which formally abolished slavery. This amendment, the second founding of our nation's promise, was also known as Freedom Day. A man born into slavery, Major Richard Wright Jr., Sr., launched the effort to pin the 1st of February as Freedom Day. Wright's lobbying campaign included a national speaking tour during which he would pressure legislators to consider his proposal. And on January 5th, 25th, 1949, President Harry Truman signed a bill proclaiming today, February 1st, to be established as Freedom Day. Truman said, quote, I call upon the people of the United States to pause on this day in solemn contemplation of the glorious blessing of freedom, which we humbly and thankfully enjoy. So while we are still waiting to make it rain with Tubman's, today we can say, Happy Freedom Day. Thank you for watching Prime. Have a good night.